everyone, Nick Walsh from Livex here, and today we are going to be looking at Magewell's ProConvert NDI to HDMI. Um, this is a really, really cool tool um, that you can put on any monitor to get NDI signal to it, which I think is super great. Um, that's always been my biggest thing with NDI is there's not a ton of products that let you use NDI for monitor sources. It's mainly as an input, which has been super helpful. Um, but a lot of times you have TVs or you have, um, you know, broadcast monitors that take HDMI in, but you don't have any way to get NDI to that. So this is where Magewell comes in to solve that problem. So let's take a look inside. Um, so got a nice white box here. Um, with their downloads link. Um, I'm not sure if you need any special drivers or anything to get it to work, um, but it looks like if you have any questions or want to follow them on socials, there's a bunch of QR codes on the back here to reach out to them. Um, now I figure out how to open this. This might always be the hardest part for me. <laughs> okay. That to the side there. Cool, some nice packaging. Everyone likes some good packaging. Um, even though it's going to destroy the earth, but that's fine. Um, so we got this here. Let me see what other surprises await. <sighs> okay, got that box and got these box, uh, these box, this box. <laughs> um, cool, put these boxes here to that side. So here's the actual device, here are two accessories. Let's go through the accessories first. Uh, so one, two, this has a bunch of power cables. Yay, power. So I'm just gonna put the US one on here, if I could figure this out, cool. Great, so that's the power. It looks like it's USB chargeable, which is pretty cool. Um, I imagine things for NDI want to be compact, and this definitely is that. Um, so in that way, you just need a USB power and then um, the device to get going, because most people will probably be like tapping these onto the back of a TV or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna put that back here, put this guy here, put this box to the side there. And yep, here's the USB cable. Oh, because it has a 2.0. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. it has like the type A or whatever on the thing and then the this there, which is cool, I guess, because if you because a lot of times they have like proprietary power and then you like lose it and then you end up looking for it and not able to find it. But this is nice. You could probably use any old USB cable if you need to. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna put the power off to the side, and then there's this little guy. Um um, but yeah, this little guy, I have no idea what it plugs into, but it looks like it has a quarter 20 screw here. Um, so I imagine if you want to like mount it to something or, um, attach it in some kind of way, you can do that. Um, so let's actually look at the unit itself. Um, over here you have your HDMI output, USB host. So I guess this is, um, you could plug in a... Um, USB A to A cable so you could talk to it or set up to a driver or whatever. Um, you do that there. On this side um, is the menu button. So I'd imagine this shows on the actual display once it's plugged in. Um, don't quote me though. Uh, but I guess you'd hit menu here because like a lot of NDI um, sources just show up on a list. Um, so there you have to have a way that you could select which NDI source you actually want. Um, so I imagine you would do it through this, either probably by clubbing in over USB and selecting it on your computer, which is probably the easier way. Or um, if you don't have a computer, you could probably go through the menu to select what NDI source you want. Um, and then the other side here is the USB for power, as well as the NDI plus PoE port. So this is great. It looks like you don't even need power at all. You could just plug in an ND, um, plug in a PoE power uh, over Ethernet here um, and get it powered up. So it's a really, really awesome way that you could probably have one cable and it's just an NDI to HDMI converter, nothing special. Um, so I think this is really, really cool um, for any monitoring you want to do or any, any reason you need an HDMI out um, from an NDI source, which is becoming more and more every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more wonderful unboxing content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.